Hey there, my name is Bo Rick, and I'm here with my colleague Maya O'Brien. We're part of Esri's Smart Cities team, and we focus on how organizations can leverage ArcGIS indoors. And in this case, we're going to show you a little bit about how organizations can use ArcGIS indoors for space planning and around their COVID-19 recovery plans. Since the outbreak of the global COVID-19 pandemic, demands for real estate and facilities management customers have rapidly evolved. Many organizations that occupy dozens or even hundreds of facilities have completely transitioned to working from home, and it's left entire portfolios unoccupied for months. It's restricting access to secure environments and the information that some employees need to fully perform their duties. Now, Many organizations are planning to enable certain employees to re-enter their facilities in a phase of a reopening. Unfortunately, as we've seen in numerous studies, sharing indoor space is a major SARS-CoV-2 infection risk. While organizations are faced with many important decisions as recovery efforts are underway, perhaps the most important question of all is how can we prioritize employee health and safety in our facility re-entry plans? Companies must properly plan how to use their indoor space to ensure safety and security of their employees. Yet their data is often limited or siloed at best and time consuming to process. The current solutions are only short term, leaving stakeholders disconnected and occupants as an afterthought. These task forces need a common platform to visualize, analyze, and share new plans to ensure the health and safety of mission critical employees. Space planning for COVID-19 recovery with ArcGIS indoors leverages a set of tools that modernizes floor plan data management, facilitates better planning across the portfolio, and engages occupants involved in new seating arrangements and protocols. The solution is easy to deploy and simple to use. It's a SaaS offering with as many secure user identities as needed. And we're going to show you a little bit of what that looks like now. Rather than relying on individual CAD drawings, modernize your floor plan data management with indoor mapping. Users can securely access and visualize indoor maps of every floor plan across the facility or portfolio in just a few clicks. Indoor maps are configured to represent seat safety or occupancy by person, business unit, return phase, or any other attribute of the unit. And you can use these visualizations to help your task force easily see who is assigned to sit where to better engage stakeholders in the decision-making process. Operationalize your CAD and BIM for reuse across any business process. Next, you can eliminate tedious individual analysis of each seat across every floor. ArcGIS indoors tools are configurable to your organization's preferred social distance measures and can run on every seat on every floor, improving the speed of safety analysis. Further refine the analysis by running on specific space types or other attributes such as an occupant's business unit, tenure, or return phase, and use these analyses to reassign occupants to safe seats to ensure their health and safety. Additionally, coordinating with stakeholders to operationalize plans can often be difficult due to conflicts of interest or organizational priorities. Use web-based visualizations of floor plans and safety analysis in the space move process to improve communication of where conflicts of social distance measures are and make sure the most critical space moves first. Even use these indoor maps to show where flexible space could allow employees to reserve safe seats on a rolling basis or only on specific days of the week. The increased transparency will show everyone that employee health and safety is top priority and ensure a successful implementation of new organizational protocols. Then engage occupants in these new protocols with end user applications that help them get more comfortable and confident in their new workspaces. As the most important stakeholders in the reopening of the facilities, occupants can access new workplace maps that help them understand the new configuration of their facilities. Web and mobile apps show updated seating arrangements, location of wellness stations, or other workspace availability, offering the ability to book safe workspaces and conference rooms or request sanitation to a specific location. Internal memos and bulletins will not be enough to make such a big transition. 
Finally, due to improved employee happiness and productivity, flexible work from home policies have long been on the rise. With the opportunity to adapt space strategies that enable better space utilization and access to new talent pools, organizations that make updates to their own long-term protocols will keep employees safe in the near term and differentiate themselves to be more competitive or continue to lead their industries and employee experience in the long term. With ArcGIS Indoors, organizations have a solution that will drive valuable employee interactions for years after the COVID-19 recovery concludes. Now, I'm going to turn it over to Maya, who's going to walk you through what this process looks like. Hello, everyone. My name is Maya O'Brien. And in this demo, I'll walk through how you can visualize social distancing analysis on an indoor map, develop space plans that meet social distancing requirements, and allow employees to reserve safe workspaces when they come back to the office. We'll start by looking at the Indoor Viewer, a web application that lets you visualize data for your facilities on indoor floor plan maps. These maps give you a central system of record for your facilities. Here, I'm looking at a map of the Esri campus. By selecting a specific building, I can get an interior view of the floor plan. I can toggle between floors and see every office and cubicle in the building. The indoor viewer can also incorporate other types of data. For example, you can use analysis tools in ArcGIS Pro to analyze social distancing parameters, then visualize the results in the viewer. Here, we've generated a six-foot buffer around open cubicles in the marketing wing, shown in blue. This represents the minimum social distancing zone needed for employees to safely occupy each cubicle. We've also highlighted areas where these zones overlap, shown in red. This lets us see which cubicles have social distancing conflicts. Using these results from the social distancing analysis, we can make decisions about how to reassign employees to make sure everyone has a safe workspace. To do this, we'll use Indoor Space Planner, a web application that lets you use indoor maps and data to visualize and manage space use throughout your facilities. Like the Indoor Viewer, I can bring the results of my analysis into Space Planner to help develop space plans that support social distancing. By highlighting the area above these cubicle clusters, I can see that I have a number of employees assigned to spaces with social distancing conflicts that I'll want to reassign to meet safety guidelines. I'll start by unassigning these individuals from their cubicles. I then can start to quickly reassign employees to make sure there's only one person per cubicle cluster. I can do this by dragging and dropping their names onto the desired cubicles in the map. In a short time, I can have a space plan that will allow these employees to maintain physical distance from their colleagues. In some cases, social distancing guidelines may require us to operate at less than our typical maximum workspace capacity. One way we can accommodate this is by setting aside safe offices and cubicles as office hotels that employees can reserve on days they need to be in the office. Next week, all of our marketing employees are going to move to a staggered schedule. Many of these employees were assigned to conflicting cubicles, so we'll need to provide them with other workspace arrangements. We'll do this by creating an office hotel. By selecting Add, I can create a new hotel area. Next, we can select every cubicle in this wing and assign them all to our marketing office hotel. Then, to ensure our employees only reserve the safest cubicles, keeping in mind our social distancing analysis data, we can add or remove cubicles from the office hotel as needed. By doing this, we've identified a set of eight cubicles that our marketing team can reserve when they come into work. Now, let's take a look at the experience of reserving a workspace in an office hotel. 
By using the ArcGIS Indoors mobile application, a member of our marketing team can quickly find and reserve an office hotel in a few simple steps. First, they'll tap the Hotel button, where they can specify desired dates, space type, as well as hotel area. This will provide a list of all available offices that meet that description. Second, they'll select an office, and the app will zoom to the office location. Third, they'll select Book and confirm the booking details. The reservation will be confirmed with an email, and they'll be ready to come back to work. In three steps, they reserve their safe workspace. Lastly, if need be, they can also reserve a conference room directly from the ArcGIS Indoors mobile application. By quickly locating a conference room and selecting Schedule, they can view conference room availability and add a new calendar event. The app syncs the appointment with their Outlook calendar, reserving the conference room, and notifying all attendees of the meeting. In this demo, we analyzed our office space to understand social distancing conflicts. We then resolved these conflicts in the Indoor Space Planner, and then walked through the experience of an employee reserving a safe workspace in preparation for returning to the office.